This video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> right now it's going to be 85 minutes for this ride, so hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs> This is $29.99. This is your bucket of crab legs right here. I have the whole dessert section to myself. I can get whatever I want. Alright, so it's the same thing again for Epcot. It's also Good morning, how are you guys doing today? So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, today we are gonna go to the Cape May Cafe, which is a buffet located next to Epcot. And, but first, before we do that, I just wanna say thank you because of you guys, I got a sponsorship from Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. As you guys know, I'm constantly trying to improve my video for you guys. If you look at where we started six years ago to now, it's a big difference, but I know there's always room for improvement. I'm currently taking a class by Dan Dan on color grading for filmmaking, and I like it a lot. She break down her class into small sections and make it so simple for you to learn. Hopefully by the time that I'm done, I can be a better filmmaker and make my video more cinematic for you guys. What I like about Skillshare is that it's ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. And they have new classes launched each week so there's always something new to discover. Another cool thing is that the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity and learn new skills today. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It's only 10 o'clock and there's so many people here. One, two, three, cheese! And for the shoulder, it costs $15 for single, $31 for double, just like Magic Kingdom. I'm the side that will get you a stroller. Alright, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma thank you. Yeah. Before we go to the buffet, uh, let's check out Epcot and then let the kids have some fun real quick. Hi Pluto! Alright, the first ride is going to be the sea with Nemo and friends. After 20 minutes, we finally made it in. You ready Kong? Mommy's going to sea! Yeah! Nemo! <laughs> oh, science is great, there's so much to know. Climb aboard. Where's the fish? <gasps> That's a big old fish. Dory in real life. I think right now they have the uh, flower festival or something. It looks very nice. It's, it's the yellow bird. That has a shirt and he loves honey. Now let's go find some more Disney characters. Disney and Pixar short film. Who's that? Mickey. Mickey, you ready to see Mickey? Yeah. Yeah? Hat. Yeah, Mickey in your hat, yes. On the side of the okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Bye, Mickey. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. Epcot is a little bit better than the Magic Kingdom. We got a chance to see Mickey. So. Made my day. The kids are hungry, so we're gonna stop by in Canada and get them some maple popcorn. And look at this beautiful castle. It does get a little bit hot right now, but luckily they have a beverage and a snack around this area from all around the world. Got me a frozen Coke. 
All right, so this is Canada. We're gonna go visit Canada. So we don't have to go visit Canada in real life. And look, there's a waterfall. That's some popcorn, Kong. Is it good? Can I try one? Got some uh, maple popcorn. It tastes like very sweet popcorn. That's how I like this. It's those uh, telephone booth from uh, the UK. And we are in the UK. And here you can get some uh, famous fish and chips. Look, Alice in Wonderland. And you guys see that right behind us? We got the hot hotel. Yeah, it's beautiful here though. Look at this, character from Beauty and the Beast. And here is Beauty and the Beast. Look, we got Ratatouille right here. So they say if you come here, you have to ride this ride. So right now it's gonna be 85 minutes for this ride, so hopefully it will be worth it. Are you ready for this ride? Yeah. Yeah? This ride may be worth it. King Jeffrey. All right, so an hour later, and my son passed out. Now we're in the room. Still not there yet. There's another line. We're not there yet. The last room before the ride. You gotta grab a pair of 3D glasses. OMG. Finally made it. After an hour and a half. Ready? Yeah. Oh, he looks so cool. Was it worth the wait? Yeah. All right, so an hour and a half wait for like a uh, three minutes ride. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it though. Who's it Kong? Sleeping Beauty. Uh, her name is Aurora. You have fun? Because we got Pluto, the yellow bear, and Mickey. So now we are waiting line to see Belle. Well, let's see what they have over there. My wife say it's some kind of like bread with cheese and shrimps. How is it? You wanna see Belle? No? No. Yeah. Well, you wanna eat popcorn, is it? And right behind us, we have Belle. Hi. I think you two might have to stop by and borrow a few all right, so now we are in Morocco. They have grilled kebab. Wow. Feel like you're in Morocco, huh? Crazy. Yeah, except uh, we're in Epcot. <gasps> Honey, we just got done meeting Belle, and now we're gonna wait to meet Princess Jasmine. Your favorite princess? All of them. I can't choose. I can't decide. 
So like the entire day, all we do is wait. And right behind us, we have Princess Jasmine. Hi, can I get the uh, strawberry hard cider? Oh, yeah. Can I get one more cup, please? You want cup yes. ice? Yes, ma'am. You want ice? Yes, just ice by itself, yes. Happy day, day. Right, thank you. Here we go. Let's give this a try. Strawberry hard cider. Cheers. Tastes like strawberry hard cider. And now we are in Japan. And here we have the Katsura Grill. And this is their menu. Alright, so we're gonna give this place a try. Just a little snack before we go to the buffet. Hello, yes, ma'am. Can I get one uh, beef and shrimp teriyaki? And then uh, can I also get a uh, miso soup, a one coke, and also the Zuzu cheese cakes. So we got one entree, a miso soup, cheesecake, and a drink. All this for thirty-one dollars. Beef, shrimp, and rice. Mm. It tastes like the same beef they use in the barbacoa. Try some of the soup. Just missing a little dashi, huh? Yeah. Not the best, but hey. It will hold uh, me to the uh, buffet. How's the shrimp going? Very good. Good. Why are you enjoying your meal? You can actually uh, watch them uh, play the drum. I don't know what's in here, but we're about to find out right now. Look, Doraemon. So right inside here, they have a Japanese store where you can buy all kinds of different stuff from Japan. Japanese ramen noodles. And this store is pretty big too. Here is where you can meet Anna and Elsa. You ready to go? Yeah, to see Anna and Elsa. Really? Yeah. Is that your favorite? Anna? You wanna hug? One means you're great too. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you for our next snowball. Look, Coco. Alright, so basically we just went around the whole world. So now we're gonna go to the uh, Cape May Cafe and enjoy the buffet. So yeah, let's go. Right inside here is where you will find the Cape May Cafe. Right when you walk in, the uh, Cape May Cafe is to your left. I don't think you can check in with your thing though. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank, right. right, thank you. Okay, how are we doing today? Good and you? Where y'all come from? Um, Texas. Texas. Well, welcome to Cape May Cafe. Have you guys dined with us before? No, sir. First time. Right. Well, welcome. So we have a face style. Kind of run you through how everything works with us. All right. The right side of the bar, that's where you're going to find our appetizers and your starters. Okay. So you're going to have three different types of salads. We're going to have a seafood pasta salad. It's the same recipe since we've opened in 1990. It's absolutely fantastic. Along with a garden salad and a Caesar salad. Okay. Also going to have two soups up there today. It's going to be a vegetable soup and a new plant chowder. All right. Also going to have some ambrosia and uh, parker rolls and corn rolls. Mm -hmm. When you get to the front of the bar, that's where you're going to have your seafood boil. So you're going to have pick and peel shrimp, clams, mussels, 
also going to have uh, corn on the cob and red skin potatoes. Okay. On top of that, uh, you're going to move yourself around to the left side of the bar. That's where we're going to have our meat cutting station. So you're going to have your steak, chili chili sauce, and your onion jam. Also going to have your lemon pepper chicken, uh, chicken drum legs. We also have some pizza and macaroni and cheese in the corner. On the back side of the bar, you're gonna finish up with our stir fry stations. You're gonna have three different types of stir fry. You're gonna have a tofu stir fry, a seafood stir fry, and also have some sauteed veggies, <laughs> along with a, our sustainable catch of the day, which is gonna be our teriyaki glazed salmon. That's okay. absolutely fantastic. All right. Make sure you guys say room for dessert. <laughs> the desserts are gonna be in the front of the restaurant. All right. Thank you. And, uh, at the front of the bar where you guys walk in, or the front of the restaurant, that's where you're going to have uh, about eight to ten different desserts. They're all bite sized and fantastic. Okay. Our signature dish is going to be the Oreo Baba. That's going to be the Oreo based chocolate chip, or I'm sorry, Oreo based uh, cookie mousse with the uh, blue sauce on top. Uh -huh. uh, highly recommend having five to ten of those. Food that I'm going to get you guys started with something to drink. Drinks included are going to be all Coke products. I uh, have lemonade, tea, juices. Uh, unsweetened tea, um, Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke. Mm, I'll take a Coke, please. Coke? And also I have uh, two questions that you don't mind. Uh, okay, uh, first question is, is there a time limit on this? Nope, no? not at all. all right, you take your time. And second question is, uh, is it okay if I take some video of the yeah, food? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, video all right. all you want. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> right. So I'll get you guys some kid lemonade. Right. So it's unsweetened tea. It's okay. We have the sweet hands at the table. Is that ready? Do you want some lemons as well? Yes. We do also offer a, a, a full bar, so you guys can take a look at that if you're interested. Okay. Um, and then as well as that, we do offer crab legs that are no longer on the buffet, but they uh, are twenty nine ninety nine a pound. Okay. So if you're interested in crab legs, let me know. They do take about twenty five to thirty minutes to steam in the back. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. So. You want crab legs? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, we'll put them in. All right. We just so, had a crab leg uh, two days in a row right there. Hey, that's all right. We've got no vacation. We've got enough crab legs. So, okay. head on up to the bar, help yourselves, and I'll grab your crab All right, thank you so much. Sorry, all right. Michael, I'm Michael. Server, else. And that's okay. Michael. Is there a restroom in here? Yes. Yeah, so the closest restroom, you're gonna actually go. You can either go around the corner here, or you can come around this way and go down this aisle. Okay. There's gonna be a, like an exit window right ahead of you. You're gonna go down like three steps, and it's gonna be right to your right. All right. Thank right? you so much. All right. The entire time, I thought you had to get out Epcot to go to this buffet, but you can actually walk all the way down past uh, the UK, and you have an exit at the park. And then it's just like a quick uh, five minutes walk. So we didn't know, we thought we had to go out Epcot, walk back and forth, and finally we made it here. So uh, let me show you guys what they have real quick, okay? Here we have the Cape May Cafe. And this is their menu. And as you walk in here, the first thing you're gonna see is gonna be the dessert section. So we're gonna come back to that later. So when you walk in here, the first thing that you will see is the seasonal salad and then you got the chipotle ranch green salad and then you got the uh, ambrosia salad with almond and coconut you got some olive you got some grape and you got some pineapple and as you move over here we got the seafood pasta salads followed by some lime and lemon and then we got the shrimp right there the jumbo shrimp with some cocktail sauce and then we got the Caesar salad we said it was really good so we should try that and then we got the crouton right there and let's move over here we got the garlic herb butter followed by some whipped butter and then we got some cornbread and then we got some Parker house roll and over here we got the roasted lemon pepper chicken Followed by some mashed potatoes, followed by some red potatoes, and then we got some corn on the cob. And over here is my favorite section right here. We got the mussel, steamed mussel, and then we got some steamed clam, and then we got some pill and eat shrimp. They look pretty big too. And then we got some cocktail sauce, and that's what we move over here. We got some house-made chimichurri, 
followed by some creamy onion jam. And right here, we got some beef strip sirloin. That looks really good right there, so we're gonna come back for it. And then we have some pizza right here, cheese pizza, and then some turkey bolognese, turkey bolognese, followed by some pasta, and then we got some parmesan cheese. And right here, we got some chicken with some ketchup. And then we got some broccoli for the kids. And as we move over here, we got some mac and cheese. And some hard work of folks back there. And back here, we got some seasonal vegetable, followed by some pasta of the day. And then plant-based tofu. This thing is tofu with rice. And right here we got some fried shrimp. And then we got some fried pork nuggets. And then some, look like salmon. And right here we got some seafood, chicken, and toro sausage, paella. And that is pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, he said he have two soup right here. We got some vegetable soup. We got some vegetable soup in here. And over here, we got the freshly made clown chowder. So over here, we have the dessert sections right here. Kind of small, but we'll work around with it. The first thing we have is the bread pudding, followed by some cream. We have the cream and the bread pudding. And then we have the chocolate Mickey Doom. And then we got the lemon curd. And then we got the Boston cream tar, and then strawberry cake, and then we got the Oreo cake, and then we got some chocolate layer cake, and then over here we got some vanilla cupcake, followed by some assorted cookie. So that right there is our dessert section right there. And that is pretty much the entire buffet. So for an additional $29.99, this is your bucket of crab legs right here. Is it good, honey? Is it worth the extra $29.99? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Did you like it, Kong? You enjoy yourself? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You finish everything? I'm gonna grab some uh, limes and lemons. So now we're just making the sauce, salt and pepper, lime and lemon mixture. Uh, you guys see this? Uh, I think it was on a steamer for a little bit too long. So it shrink a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, usually you guys see it, uh, it will be uh, more plumptious, but it shrink a lot. Thanks, sir. Get something all right on drinks, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's a little bit better. Hmm? Yeah. How's the steak? <coughs> How's the sirloin? The chimichurri is good. It tastes like better than mine. Really? So, only if you really craving for some snow crab leg. I don't think it's worth the $29.99 though. But we got it so that you guys can see what you're getting. We're gonna grab some of this peel and eat shrimp. Look like some bay leaf in there. And then we're gonna get some of this cocktail sauce. All right. Try some of this clam. 
Okay, we're gonna grab some of this muscle. Then we're gonna try some of this regular shrimp. Here we have plate number two. Still doing okay here, guys? Yes, sir. Um, let me ask you, do you guys have Tabasco here? No, sir. Tabasco? Tabasco, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. This one is uh, it has bay leaf in there, but it was sitting there by itself, so I don't know why people are not touching it. So let's give it a try. Yeah, dip in some cocktail sauce. Mm. When we're at the um, Crystal Palace, I know it's one thing about Disney though, they have some pretty good shrimp. Want to try it? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Alright, thank you. The one that I just ate with the bay leaf is cold, and these ones are hot. Steaming hot. Look at that. Mm. Both of them are pretty good. My wife said the clams are salty, so uh, let's give it a try. I mean, it's not bad when you dip in a um, cocktail sauce. Yeah, the mussel, they cook it uh, perfectly. Mm. Not too salty at all. And look at that. Beef strip loin. Thank you, sir. And then we're gonna get some of this uh, chimichurri. And then we're gonna get some of this uh, seafood paella. So we're gonna try this um, beef strip loin. Add some of this chimichurri on top. I don't care what my wife say. My chimichurri is still tastes better than this. It's pretty good. I think they add a little bit of avocado in there. So I think that's why she like it. Mm. Beef um, ship loin is pretty good. Well flavor, very tender. Mm. Just the right amount of fat. And when you dip with that Tabasco, mm, so good. I'm gonna chase it down with some of this seafood paella. Seafood paella actually go well with the beef. I think I'm gonna go back and get some more beef. Doing okay over here, guys? Yes, sir. We have a chance, can I have to make some more coke? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. What you got there, Carl? Mm. Try some of this roasted lemon pepper chicken. Yes, sir. Can I get two small pieces? Yeah, beef so good. I gotta get some more. Thanks, sir. And while we add it, might as well give this a try. So have it tastes like turkey bolognese. We're gonna get some of the salmon real quick. And one piece of this fried fish. So we're gonna grab some clam chowder, whatever is left. And while we add it, we're gonna grab some of this fried shrimp. One piece of this fried fish. Try some of this fried shrimp. Mmm, batter doesn't stick on, but wow, the shrimp is delicious. All right, Pollock nuggets. 
Mm, this one's a little bit salty though. Mm, it's okay. I'm gonna try the uh, clam chowder real quick. I watched it, it's really good. Clam chowder. I see why she like it. Extra creamy. Give you a lot of clam in here. And you got some potatoes and celery. She know what she's doing to me. See? What, what is this? Um, turkey balloonies? Can you hear that? Can you say that? Balloonies? Bolognese. Bolognese. Turkey. Bolognese. It just tastes like um, spaghetti. Pasta spaghetti. All right, we're gonna try this salmon. It has a hint of sweet. It's pretty good. Way better than this. We're gonna try this lemon pepper chicken. Chicken is not dry at all and it's well flavored. And I don't know if it's spicy from the Tabasco or it's just naturally spicy. But it's pretty good. I'm gonna chase that with some mashed potato. That mashed potato was pretty good. Put the skin in there, give it an extra texture. The beef was so good, I had to get it again. Mm. That was good. Let's go grab some dessert and then um, we end this video. I'm gonna grab some of this bread pudding. Add in some sauce on top. And get one of this uh, Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna grab some of this strawberry cake. And then we're gonna grab some of this pineapple. A couple of grapes. Excuse me. First thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with this uh, bread pudding. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Wow. Let me tell you, that sauce is so good. If only we stay at the resort right here, I will get some more, but. I'm afraid it's a little bit dangerous for me. But oh, wow, so good. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit creamy. And you get that crunch on the bread. And then I think they have to add in pears or an apple, one of them. It's so good. Mm. Let me try this. Mickey Mouse. Mm. Wow. So basically outside is the uh, hard chocolate. Once you bite into it, inside, this is oozed with chocolate. So good. Let's try this uh, strawberry cake. Mm. Wow, that strawberry cake, mm. so smooth. And you can taste um, a little bit of strawberry. Alright, I'm gonna grab some of wife some bread pudding. Mm. You tried the, the strawberry cake too? No. Oh. You tried the, the mouse? It's all good. It's all good. Alright, dessert was so good. I had to grab my wife's plate. There's some of this bread pudding. Some sauce. One Mickey Mouse. One strawberry. And one chocolate. So our total came out to be 17360. Is it good? Alright, if you don't finish it, I'll finish it. Alright, thank you, sir. Alright, thank you. Alright, so 20% tip is gonna be 3260. So he's pretty good, so we're gonna give him forty dollars and to make our total come out to be two thirteen sixty. And as always, thank you for the awesome service. That was very satisfying. 
Um, we've been walking around the entire day. First part was hot and then it was raining. So to be able to sit down and have a hot meal, you can't ask for it. And so this buffet is uh, specialized in seafood, so it's gonna be on the expensive side. It's gonna be a, just a little bit expensive, more expensive than the other one. So we're looking at $42 per person. And then you add the crab on top of that. So yeah, to uh, cap off a perfect day at Epcot, uh, this would be uh, the uh, perfect place. And after this, after you go early, you can actually go back to Epcot and then enjoy the rest of the day there. So if I happen to come back to Epcot again, I will probably take the family here uh, so we can enjoy this buffet again. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you soon. All right, so now we're gonna go back to Epcot and then we're gonna do one more ride before we go home. Cheese. All right, so from this gate right here, you just walk straight through and go all the way down there. Frozen ever after. Still 45 minutes. It's about to be nine o'clock at night and it's still packed for Frozen Ever After. And they say that uh, if you come to Epcot, you have to ride this ride in the back to it. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out. So even though it's late at night, we have to make this one last ride. You met Elsa today? Yeah, it's Anna because I love those characters. You love those characters? Wow, that one was worth it. I like it. You like that one, Kong? Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Perfect way to end the night, huh? You like that Kong? Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah, that was so good. Now we can go home now? Yes? Alright, it's over. No more Disney.